All right, Studer's brand new 131R just came to the shop. Before we had the Studer win, now we got Studer Sim. I'm super excited to see what this machine can do. Let's get to it. With the other scooters we had, not only could you locate on a fixture plate, a magnetic plate, or some sort of chuck, you could also locate between centers. With this 131R, it's gonna have only chucking capabilities. Now that's gonna allow you to grind the ID of parts, but you're not gonna be able to do it between centers. That's gonna be more of an OD grinder with ID capabilities. So just like all the other machines that we've had, this S131R is gonna come with the granitan base. That's gonna give thermal stabilization, which is gonna be increased dimensional accuracy, and it's gonna allow the coolant to flow through that table and cool everything down. That way everything stays at the right temperature. So the S131R just dropped on our floor. We've got the brand new core panel with Studer Sim integrated into it. And inside the machine on the right side, we've got three ID spindles hooked up, and then we have an OD spindle as well. So what's cool about it is it's a radius grinder. Now that's a lot different than regular ID grinding machines because a regular ID grinding machines, you can go in and grind a bore straight, or you can put a taper on it, or you can even thread the ID. And with this sort of machine, you can actually go in and the B axis is gonna swivel what's known as their infinite B axis. We'll talk more about that later, but you can actually swivel that B axis and create a perfect radius. Now that's a huge thing for mold making and draw dies. You have to have that radius in there and it's gotta be perfect and polished because once you go to draw out that sheet steel, it could crack if there's a sharp corner on it. What's cool about this machine too, is you have a 60,000 RPM spindle. Now that's booking it, but you have to have a high speed spindle like that because the surface feet on this small of a grinding wheel is so small that you have to compensate with a higher feed rate. Kind of like on a mill, if you have a smaller drill, you gotta go faster. If you have a big drill, you gotta go slower. Now, another cool feature about this machine is that it has a contour grind. And what that means is instead of going in and out of a bore and just making that hole larger, you can actually pick a spot on the wheel and then follow a contour if you needed to. And on the left side, we've got our three jaw chuck. You can change this out with other chucks. And we've got a rotary dresser. That's gonna allow us to dress all four of our grinding wheels. So now what we can do is we can go to our Tyrolet Auto Lock cabinet and we can grab some wheels to put inside our machine. Now an example we got is we got a CBN wheel and a diamond wheel. And in the back, we've got aluminum oxide wheel that we can use with our rotary dresser. So the older machines came equipped with the legacy control. What United Grinding does now is every machine comes standard with the core panel. So what the core panel does is not only does it unlock classic mode, which allows you to go from Fanic to Studer Sim in this case, but you can also connect virtually through digital solutions as long as you have internet connection. Now what digital solutions does is it allows you to connect to what we have, the cyber chair or your home computer. So what that means is you can monitor the machine from anywhere in the world. Now, if you go to the Grinding Academy, you can actually learn how to operate the machine and navigate the core panel. So right here, we got our mist extractor. So you can actually open and close your valve. And what that's gonna do is gonna allow more airflow in inside and out of your machine. So this right here is gonna be your electrical cabinet. And this right here is gonna be the chiller box that blows cool air in and helps keep your electrical components from overheating. This right here is gonna be your spindle chiller. What that's gonna do is it's gonna keep your bearings nice and cool. That way you don't overheat them. That's super important when you have a 60,000 RPM grinder or a 120,000 RPM grinder. So now on the right side of the machine, we have our fire suppression unit. Now, since we're grinding with oil, we're gonna be using a carbon dioxide suppression unit because you cannot put out an oil fire using water. So that's why we're gonna be using carbon dioxide. We've got our siren. That's gonna be a audible siren. That means it's gonna let you know that something's going wrong and it's extinguishing those flames. On the top, you have your oxidizer. That's gonna make the carbon dioxide smell wintery fresh. Now that's kind of funny, but what it's for is to make sure that if it's leaking, you can actually smell it, similar to how they put the egg smell in propane. Inside the machine, it has a heat probe. Once that heat probe gets up to 195 degrees Celsius, it sends an alarm out and it's gonna pump this entire tank of carbon dioxide into the machine, suppressing any existing flames. So on the tank itself, you have a mechanical safety, meaning that if the heat probe doesn't go off, you can actually pull this pin like a grenade and slam this lever down and expel all of that gas. On the front of the machine, you have another mechanical safety, meaning that if the heat probe doesn't go off, you can pull this lever down and it would expel that gas, extinguishing those existing flames. The next thing we have to do is go ahead and fill it up with oil so we can get grinding. 
So what makes this machine different than the 31, 33, and 41 is that instead of a water-based coolant, we're gonna be using straight oil similar to our Walter machine. That's actually clear. Some good looking oil. Oil is gonna help a lot when we start grinding carbide, ceramic, and different super alloys inside this ID grinder. So I just filled up 175 gallons of the Blazer GTM 10, and that oil is absolutely crystal clear. So now with that, we can go ahead and close it, and I'll show you what the thermal stabilization looks like inside the machine. So now that I've turned on the machine and I've energized it, my thermal stabilization comes on. That coolant is gonna flow all the way through that granite sand table, and it's gonna normalize the temperature inside the entire machine. So you can actually see the coolant coming out of the dresser. That's gonna keep my dress from overheating, and same thing for my grinding wheels. So now you can see the coolant flowing throughout the entire machine, and that's gonna keep everything at a consistent temperature. That way you can make accurate parts. So that's our brand new machine from Studer, the 131R. This machine is gonna be a top level machine using Studer Sim. So make sure you stick around for more grinding content. If you like what we're doing, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We'll see you on the next one.